After 65 years, the VFW post in Lake Isabella is at risk of closing its doors due to the pandemic. 23 ABC's Daniela Garrido spoke with the commander of the VFW post on how the community can help keep their doors open. She joins us live tonight from Lake Isabella with more. Daniela. Good afternoon, Jess. Well, if you've ever been to one of the VFW posts in Kern County, you know it's more than just a place for veterans to go hang out. It's a place for the entire community to remember, honor, and most importantly, socialize with our local veterans. But they say as COVID-19 has happened, they've had to turn down the, social, the socialization and made some new changes. Now they need your help more than ever to keep their doors open. This is my family. These are my friends. This is what I live for. Right here. And now I even have a bigger meaning to live for this post, to help it stay alive. The VFW Post 7665 is a staple in the Lake Isabella veteran community. But since COVID-19 hit, the post has had to limit the crowds and social interaction that once flooded the inside of the building and move their services to a limited patio space. It's the only one up here. Not like Bakersfield where you have multiple posts around. And, and this place has been here since 1955. And the people up here tell them they depend on it. The commander for the post was a member for 20 years. Three months ago, he took over the position in the midst of the pandemic. For months, the post said they struggled to pay their bills and were living in fear they would have to permanently close their doors. This community would die, would literally die up because of everybody closing up. Yeah. So it, it's a horrible problem. And I don't even want to have to think about it, but I have to. The post, which was usually open three days a week for public dining, has now moved towards seven days a week for lunch and dinner. People can call in and order ahead of time or sit on the patio. We fight every day to stay open you know, with the guidelines, you know, all within the guidelines and the things that we need to do. Over 180 Lake Isabella veterans are members at the local VFW post, and while the support has been pouring in, they say they need all the support they can get to keep it open. It's not easy. It's not easy. Now, Jess, the VFW post is right off of the Lake Isabella exit, and they are asking the community to consider them for lunch during this time in order to keep their doors open. For now, we're live in Lake Isabella. I'm Daniela Garrido, 23 ABC News, connecting you.